name is Hayden and uh, I live in Recife, Pernambuco in Brazil. But I grew up here in the southwest of England in a beautiful county called Cornwall. Just over there, in fact, a little town called Liscard. I've decided to start making these, these YouTube videos because I think that the natural world has an amazing story to tell about how it influenced human culture. I'm here back in Bodmin Moor in the southwest of England and Bodmin Moor has some of the most beautiful landscapes in the UK. This is a, a natural world heritage site and the first thing we're going to see is just up there. I'm back in the UK visiting family. My son Ethan and I are walking up this track to see what used to be one of the most extreme environments on earth. I'm in the cheese ring quarry. The cheese ring itself sits on the top and that's the part that everybody takes pictures of because it is a really beautiful area. But what I'm interested in as a geologist is what's happening under the ground and here in this quarry we get a picture of that. This is a massive wall of granite and you can maybe see inside this granite that there are kind of horizontal bedding planes. What does that mean exactly? Well, granite is a volcanic rock, an igneous rock. And this particular body of granite formed very deep inside the earth. Could be a kilometer, five kilometers underneath the earth. And this is a massive chamber of magma, molten rock. So it's very, very hot. And these horizontal planes formed because, like a bowl of porridge, which cools from the outside inwards, this body of magma cooled from the outside towards the inside. So you have this dome-shaped structure, which is the top of this huge body of magma, and as it gradually cooled from the outside to the inside, it formed these different types of crystals. And the boundary between these types of crystals formed these bedding planes, which were more susceptible to fracture. And that's what we have here. It's amazing to think that 250 million years ago, there was volcanic activity in the southwest of England. We look around today and the landscape seems pretty ordinary. But 250 million years ago in the Permian period, it was a very different place. Before volcanic activity starts, there are rocks made of sediments which have been laid down over millions of years. These are called sedimentary rocks. The rocks that the magma later comes into contact with is called the country rock. Volcanic activity can start for a number of reasons, but when it does, it rises due to convection and pressure from below. Sometimes it stops and bulges, forming large magma chambers that then feed into other ones higher up. The surface of the earth bulges and a volcano is born. After hundreds, sometimes millions of years, the volcanic activity will subside. Starved of new magma, the liquid gradually cools and solidifies into granite, forming a pluton. In the chambers, like our bowl of porridge, cooling happens from the outside inwards, causing different minerals to form in succession. This process is called fractional crystallization. This causes the rocks to form a pattern that will be more susceptible to fracture and erosion later. Then, over millions of years, wind and rain erode the landscape gradually eating away at the country rock. Eventually, the pluton is reached. Because the granite is harder than the surrounding country rock, it isn't eroded as much, resulting in an area having a relatively high altitude. The slow erosion of the granite exploits the mineral zones created during cooling, giving rise to the formation of tors, such as the cheese ring. Thank you very much for watching my first YouTube video. As you can see, I'm back in Brazil. Uh, please feel free to make any comments down below. Anything would be greatly appreciated, any advice you have. Um, and please don't forget to subscribe and make it off the ground. See you next time. Bye bye.